Hi, welcome to Bar Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on probability and counting principles. This video is focusing on the fundamental counting principle, which is a principle that says at each decision point you multiply how many options you have. This is a little bit less obvious than some of the fundamental counting principle problems, but it's still a fundamental counting principle problem. Okay, five couples go to the movies and how many ways can they sit if the couples want to sit together? This one, if you think too hard, it gets complicated, but if you don't think too hard, it, it's not too bad. So if five couples are going to the movies, they are taking up 10 seats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, so they walk in, it's a big group, and then the first person sits down. So we have 10 options, 10 possibilities. That's our first decision point. One of 10 is going to sit in that first seat but they want to sit together. Each of the couples want to sit together. So there's really one choice for that second seat because whoever sits down first, the person they came with is going to sit next to them. Well, now that two people have sat, there are only eight people left for the next seat. And then the couples are sitting next to each other so we know who's going to sit next. We have six people and then the person is gonna sit next to the person they came with four, two, and there's only one person left at this point. So they're sitting with couples, so every other seat is decided by whoever the random person is. If we multiply 10 times eight times six times four times two, we get 3,840 seating arrangements. Okay. Well, what if instead of sitting by couples, and it doesn't have to be male, female couples, but just for the simplicity of this problem, what if the women wanna to sit together and the men wanna to sit together? So we're just gonna assume it's five and five. It doesn't have to be. It could have been same sex couples, but you know, we're just doing a simple problem. So we're just gonna say five and five. Um, you can make your problem a little different if you want the genders to be different in the couples and then your answer will be a little different. It's all good. Um, so five women and five men. That's just how I'm going to define it for the simplicity of the problem. If we have 10 seats still, um, and I'm going to show you two ways of doing this and you can decide which method makes more sense to you. Okay. The first way is the five women sit. You have five options for the first seat, four options for the second, three for the third, two for the second, and one for the last. It's random order amongst the five women. And so we go in descending order for how many are left. And then the first of the five men, four, three, two, one. But here's the deal. Why are the women on the left? What if the men wanted to be on the left? We don't actually know which gender is on the left or right. So this is another decision point. So there are two ways in which they could have sat, men on the left or women on the left. So there is one more multiplying by two because we don't know the order in which they set, sat, men, women, women, men. We multiply this out and it's two, 28,800 uh, ways. Okay, so then here's the other way. How many people are going to the movie 10? We again have 10 options for this first seat. Well then, whoever sits here, there are four, three, two, one, because if it's a man, there's four men left, three, two, one. If it's a woman, there are four, three, two, one. And then we continue with the five, four, three, two, one. This two gets wrapped up in the five times two because you have a total of 10 people available for the first seat. Once that first person sits, the rest of the gender sits next to them. And then the other gender goes five, four, three, two, one. And so this is another way to kind of understand why we multiply by two here. The answer is going to be the same answer. It's just you start with 10 options for the first seat and make it the first seat completely random versus doing gender by gender and then multiply by two because you're not certain if it's men, women, or women, 
men, two choices there. Two ways to approach it, same answer either way. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.